Good day, Kabalen. How is it going? Today's video is all about our first ride in the expressway, particularly in SETEX and TPLEX, using Azul, the Bajaj Dominar 400. We will be heading to our destination, which is in the Manawag Church in Pangasinan, to have our bike blessed and to experience how does it feel to ride your very first expressway legal bike in the super highways. So, what are you waiting for? Let's get it on! So this is our first attempt to enter the SETEX and this is the Clark entry. But unfortunately, since my RFID sticker is attached in the original windshield and I upgraded mine to aftermarket windshield, I have to pass by to cash entry. But this boot doesn't have one, so I decided to find another entry point which is in the Mapalakat entry point. So this one has a cash lane entry, so it would be possible for us to enter the expressway for the first time. I still don't know how much I am going to pay, but we're gonna find out soon as we reach our destination. Now let's talk about our first impression regarding our first ride here in Subic Clark Tarlac Expressway or also known as SETEX. A lot of people, especially riders, are asking about the legality of this Dominar 400. Since make its debut in the market, the first batch of the bikes are not indicated 400cc in the CR or the Certificate of Registration. Instead, they were 373.3 cc. And as we all know, if your motorcycle is not 400 cc in the CR, you're not allowed to enter the expressway. So this becomes a major issue to Dominar owners. Thus, they have to do some upgrades in the LTO to make their bikes legal. And some years later, the releases of these bikes last year 2021 had officially and finally made this Dominar 400 to expressway legal because once you purchase this bike and the documents released it is already 400 cc indicated in the total piston displacement in the certificate of registration the first thing I notice is the heat that comes from the engine once you've slowed your speed or when you're in full stuff Unlike the scooter which I commonly use, the engine is very much exposed resulting to heat coming up and started to peel it in your legs. But once you reach the regular speed, it will disappear. Next is the limiter which will light up when you reach 5000 rpm and that is a little bit annoying because you haven't yet reached the enough speed to switch gear and it keeps turning on. The vibration in the handlebar is also noticed since this is a single cylinder engine. The stock horn is also not that loud as you need to upgrade it. The lights are fine since they are all LEDs. So some things I like about this Dominar 400 is the power. The engine is very much responsive every time you twist the throttle. And of course the price. This is the second cheapest expressway legal bike in the market. You don't have to spend a lot of money in order to ride in the expressway. It is sometimes even cheaper than maxi scooters. So the reliability of this bike is also magnificent. The Bajaj company in India has made itself the best reputation among manufacturers 
not only in India but also around the world. I have seen some videos about the Dominar 400 crossing the Siberia, Asia, Australia, South America among others. And this Dominar experience has inspired me to one day I will have my own Dominar 400 and start to make my own adventure riding this bike. So stick around and enjoy the view as we cruise the expressway using Azul, the Bajaj's Dominar 400.
and finally reaching our destination here in the Tiplex, which is the Binalonan exit. Thanks for staying with me during our ride and expect a lot of motorcycle adventure in the future using Azul, Iba Judd's Dominar 400. Keep safe Kabalen and Perlandas is signing out.